Hi, welcome to GK. Please like and share this with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to this channel or follow us on Facebook for more. What does background check mean for current and prospective Uber drivers? As an Uber driver or prospective Uber driver, you need to understand the concept of background check that Uber requires you to pass before you can start earning using their platform. This will help you avoid troubles and you will learn how to troubleshoot and fix your Uber driver or delivery account if you have background check issues. Background check is the key to become and remain an Uber driver. Not only do you need to pass background check when signing up either to drive and give passengers or as a delivery partner on the Uber platform, but also every time you do a city switch to drive in a new state or city, every time you create a new account or try switching to a new type of account like Uber Eats delivering food to Uber X driving passengers and vice versa. It doesn't matter how long you have passed it already. You also need a renewal every year, which means even if you have already been successful, you may get caught later on if anything pops up. Background check for current and prospective drivers includes mainly a criminal record and a driving record. So don't assume you should be good because you never killed anybody. Avoid fighting with people, inflicting injuries on people. Even one minute in jail can get you a dirty record. So your criminal record really matters to Uber because as a driver you will be interacting with their customers. Same thing for your driving record. Your driving history matters to them because they want professional drivers, not reckless drivers. They want their customers to feel safe riding with Uber. So if your driving record has points, traffic violations, or suspended license, even if you already fixed things up with the DMV, and get your license back, as long as those things show on your background check report, Uber won't approve it. If you have never been told that the block is permanent, wait for one year and go to an Uber office with an appointment to request a rerun of your background check. One more thing, don't think that Uber has to approve your background check because it's been approved by other companies like Lyft or DoorDash. Each company has their own standards and Uber's is way higher. Now in order to initiate your background check you have to click on it to accept terms and conditions. Consider uploading your driver's license and vehicle documents as well. They also need your social security number, not your tax ID. Once you click on background check it takes you to this page where you have to review and accept terms and conditions. Just click in this little square to receive a free copy of your background check and then hit agree at the bottom of the page. Sometimes you just hit agree and you're good, but there are times when you have to provide your social security number, especially if you are new or something doesn't look right, so they want to confirm your identity. After you submit your information for background check, it may take about 10 business days or more to complete. Keep an eye on your email inbox and the spam folder because you may receive an email from Checker, the third-party company doing your background check requesting additional information. If you fail to reply in time, that may delay the process. If too much time has passed they don't hear back from you your background check may be put on hold or cancelled and you will have to get help from Uber experts to reinitiate the process. Hit I agree and acknowledge to consent for the background check. If your background check was already in progress but it says needs your attention on the Uber app, click on it. If the next page says your background check is complete and you see a link directing you to Checker, there must be something on the report that Uber doesn't like. Checker should send you a copy of the report on your email. If you didn't have a chance to read through it, check the applicant portal for the status of your background check or request a copy of the report at candidate.checker.com. Fill out this form and hit get status. Make sure to provide the same email address associated to your Uber account. Also, if you signed up for any other rideshare or delivery company checker may have more than one report on file for you. Make sure to select the most recent one for Uber to see what's in there. It must be clear with no traffic violations, DUI, suspended license, points on your license. If you see any false information, then you may dispute with checker to get it fixed. 
One more thing, there are times when you click on background check and the system doesn't display this page for you to consent for a new background check. Instead, it will take you to this page asking you to help verify your driving history. It usually happens to people who apply to drive passengers and their driver's license doesn't show one year of issuance in the country if they are under 25 years old or three years of issuance if they are 25 years or older. If you know you have the amount of experience required, just tap take photo to provide a picture of the old driver's license if you still have it or get a copy of your driving record from a local DMV, Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles, and upload a photo of it. This is an example of driving record that you can get from the DMV as proof of driving history. This one was obtained from the Florida Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles, commonly called the DHSMV, DMV, or FLHSMV. You only need to upload a picture of the first page because it contains all of the information they need.